So the quick question today is going to be, what about Trump's three arrests? There's only two, but you know one's coming. So that's what the video will be about. The video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to say, you know, the two arrests and indictments were, were good. This third one is very good, uh, really appreciating that. And I think there's going to be a, a fourth one, maybe even a fifth one eventually. Um, so, yeah. So let's just talk about the three, the three uh, arrests, the three indictments, the two that have happened, the one that's right on the cusp. And uh, see what the cards can tell us. So I guess the thing is, you know, with the other two situations going on, um, and and Jack Smith right on his heels, Donald Trump has got to be scared to death. I mean, his only hope is to keep pushing this stuff off. And now that uh, Judge Cannon in um, Florida has set the trial date for the, uh, the papers, issue um, in Mar-a-Lago for May something. Um, it's all coming together very, very nicely. So Fonnie Willis, Alan Bragg, Jack Smith, Jack Smith again, and, and all the other stuff that's still in the works uh, is what uh, needs to be talked about. So that's what we'll do. We'll go over those. I'm gonna. There'll be. It's, I know I call this a quick question, but it's gonna be probably three or four uh, three card draws. So a little quicker, longer, quick question than I usually have. Um, so let's see. Um, the Alvin Bragg situation. Good or bad for Donald Trump? Two, three. Is this a win or a lose for Donald Trump with Alvin Bragg? That's New York, uh, Manhattan. First card, oof, the devil card, being chained to lesser intentions. Next card, Alvin Bragg, ah, finding a balance, two of pentacles. And then the third card is, oof, walking away with something of immense emotional value. So yeah, this is a loss. The Alvin Bragg situation is completely gone. Amazing. Okay, so Fonnie Willis. Fonnie Willis in Georgia. That's the defrauding, uh, I don't know if it's defrauding, but it's, you know, asking for those 11,780. How can we all know that number now? It's amazing. So t tell me, i tell you what, Trump can be whatever he is, but he has had a lasting, he's made a lasting impression on the world. And who of us can say that? Now, sure, it's a horrible impression, but who of us can say we've, we are known around the world and will be forevermore in history books? But the Fonnie Willis uh, issue, um, win or lose. One, two, so it'd be so cool if I got the same cards. <laughs> so win or lose, Fonnie Willis. That's the, uh, trying to get those votes. Ah, so we've got happy family. The Ten of, of Cups is very emotional and it's a, a joyous celebration. Hmm, could that, could that be democracy? I can't believe it could be the Trumps. That judgment, judgment is coming. And then <laughs> theft and betrayal. So yeah, that's uh, this is us. This is us. We're gonna be celebrating, be a uh, celebration because judgment will show up about that theft and betrayal, uh, trying to steal those votes and get away with it. That's what that guy was doing. It's a seven of swords and it was um, pretty predictive. Now, uh, we're gonna do two for Jack Smith one on the current issues and then the other on the potential pending issues so first indictment one two three papers in uh in miami win or lose ah theft of betrayal again 
Knight of Swords, Truth and Justice, and a lot of issues. Ten of Swords, a lot of issues are going to, yeah, this is all bad for him. So it's all about the theft of betrayal. The Knight of Swords is the, the government coming in with truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, it's, it's a huge bundle to move up the road. So no, that's a loss. So that's the Miami uh, or the Florida Jack Smith issue. So now let's see about the next uh, Jack Smith issue on uh, everything around the January 6th issue. Three cards. Win or lose for Trump. Jack Smith around January 6th issues. Win or lose for Trump. First card. Okay. Okay, these are small celebrations. Actions, plans, forward movement. That's what wands are. This is the four wands. And these are small celebrations. Hmm. That makes me want to think of Trump uh, Tower, uh, mar lago Castle, Castle uh, less so the White House. So I think these are some small, small wins in the Trump camp. Okay. Ah. But he trapped and um, the star card. Interesting. You know, this is being confined and trapped by truth, justice, rules, and laws, but you've been able to, to, to wiggle out of some of it, which is what's going on here. But he still remains a star figure. One more card, win or lose, on the uh, January 6th issues. Big emotional win. He might skinny out of that somehow. So. Three losses and a potential win. Don't like that, actually. <laughs>